This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest to myself, Kevin Davis. We are music love life. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and get into it. I know, like, it's it's a lot going on. I'm ready to, like, really jump in and, and kind of, yes, I am. I am I got not shit to that do, ready. Man. I'm not even that ready. I, I literally just, I'm still kind of jet lagged. And you guys know I went to do a, a Oscars gifting suite for a, a sex toy client. Shout out to Zvakum Sex Toys. And we, Zvakum is the sex t- yes yes so so we hosted a a um there was a gifting suite we had an area that we talked to celebrities about sex and it was the most interesting celebrities about sex right well, they get a lot of sex so they yeah, but I think a- I really think after after this experience that everybody is getting a lot of sex, right? Mm, why do you say that? No, I, okay, I'll, why I'll is tell you why. Everybody, so everybody, everybody's doing it. Huh? Everybody's doing it. So I want to shout out to Veronica Vega, who I just finished actually talking to. She actually was our our amazing host at the at the booth. She is on Love and Hip Hop Miami. She's also a dope artist. You should check out her new song um, uh, that is out right now. She has a couple songs out right now. But anyway, Veronica. Um, was there and she talked to people that came by the booth about sex. And so one of the questions that she asked people was, what was their freak number? What was their freak number? Out of yeah. what? She's very, she's got like a very upfront, in your face kind of. She does. Approach. She, ain't, she, she, ain't she does not cut corners. She does not pussyfoot around, if you will. <laughs> she goes straight for that. That would be appropriate. That would, that would. So, so okay, I'm gonna okay. ask you guys. So, what, on a scale of one to 10, what do you think your freak level is and why? My first question is, how, <laughs> how freaky is 10? Like, does 10 you include... You have to define what it is. Are you a trisexual if you're a 10? I think you are open to anything if That's you're That's what I'm 10. saying. You try anything. Trisexual. Yeah. Now, I, I thought, I learned a lot because I thought 10 was like anything with people. And then one of the guys was like, no, 10 could be just like anything like animals. And I was like, whoa, whoa. So so no, let's just say animals. Yeah, like because there was <laughs> there was who the fuck do you hang around? What right. type no, no, of there was mention of of, of of well, it's a sex toy company, and this was during the Oscars. This here, is, this is did we smutted up the Oscars. Did, did they ask? We smutted up the Oscars. No, but I mean, it's a sex toy company, so obviously they are very familiar with porn and B and and BDSM and you know I guess all that Harvey kind of Weinstein stuff. Weinstein wasn't there. Huh? So okay, so t- getting tied up is what? What number? Like give us. I a, don't know. Well, see, give I don't us some know. reference. I don't know. I'm just the PR. I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not assigning numbers. I'm scared to say a number because she might come out. Oh, you. No, no, okay. You well, tell us your that number means, and I feel why like we you're do have that to number. Establish, just for fairness, I feel like we should establish. I don't a want scale. ten to have any. To me, bestiality shouldn't even be on a. That's a whole nother I think that's, scale. I think that's more than 10. Anyway. Yeah, well, definitely. I would it's not even on the 10. same scale, but I'm just saying <laughs> that people did have questions about what made a 10. I'm just saying 10 is probably anything with people, like... Anything with people, like orgies male, female, and orgies whatever. And I don't know. If, no, you see what I'm saying? Like, still in your own. Like, if you're if you're heterosexual, then your ten would be heterosexual sex. The ten, the freakiest, freakiest freak of heterosexual sex. You can't just go over the the line. Freak of freak. You can't freak, just freak of freak. freak. <laughs> you can't freak just freak. cross over into a whole nother sexual identity with your freak. Level. I don't. I don't know that that's that's that far off though. I think that there are a lot of people who. Are what they say now fluid? Fluid is the thing. Yeah, a lot of a lot of millennials. We talked about that. A lot of so millennials. So I think it had, that has to be on the scale. Ten, okay. ten would have to be to the point where you're so fluid, fluid. that you're like water. Just what? Yeah, water. that's it. So what? <laughs> just, just whatever. whatever happens, right. you're in the you're whatever feels good, no matter right. where it from whence it comes, you're okay right. with it. I would say that if that's the case, if we're gonna say ten is fluidity, <laughs> I would say I'm a good eight. That's still pretty high. And I think I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty good, pretty solid eight. You wow. know what I'm saying? High eight, low nine. Okay. Now I will tell you, be, on, be honest. I, I, I have to be, be honest when I'm wrong. Okay. So the consensus was at this event that a lot of women do not give good. <laughs> 
head. Of course they don't. <laughs> I, I mean, I thought you were wrong. No, I thought Kevin, you were wrong. You said Kevin was right. Kevin, I thought Kevin has a was completely right. different experience. I don't know where these women are. Maybe they grow them different in Ohio. Maybe just because Kevin is tall. Does that make it? I don't know. I'm just looking for variables. I'm looking I, I for think variables. It does. I know. See? I know. I've See? gotten some pussy solely because I'm tall. Oh, that doesn't yeah. mean it'll be good pussy though. No, it doesn't. Mm, it doesn't. No, it's not always. good. So we're talking about value. We're not. We're talking about quality, not quantity <laughs> at this point. And what I was saying was is that head is, is head is a difficult thing because it requires full commitment, commitment. and that's for what I quality. heard. I really learned that. Like I really, really, I have a full understanding now. I did not when I left, and now I realize. But I'm so. Anyway, so you've been freak sexually level. You've been freaked out. You, I, no, you I, are turned out now. I am not. I am so See, not. That's when you went to L.A. and got out there with them <laughs> uh-huh. freaky people and you came back the all plastics. New. What is your number? What is your number, Kevin? Um, I think I'm... I feel like I'm boring, though. Like, believe it or you not. No, you definitely aren't going to be as boring as I am. I Maybe... I, I think I'm probably seven. I think, you like... You came down one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a I strong think, eight, low nine. <laughs> I, I think I'm right there on that like, board. I, I think I definitely, I definitely have my moments. I got some shit I like to do or try, but I, I pretty much stay in my lane. I don't go too far. I don't, and too low is uh, so I'm probably a. So you're what a three? <laughs> Go ahead and lie to us. I'm just saying, I really felt when I before I went to L.A., I really felt like I was higher up. My number was a lot higher than I realized it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really want to say 6.5. <laughs> and you said something about me about one less than B. No, you, I'm just saying. So, I, so B I is said, the freaky one out of three of us? Oh, I definitely am. I, I guess. Kevin, I told you I feel bad. I don't even know who I am anymore. I thought I was very, very, very You got confident. a late start. The, all the missing the parties and stuff I in college. I did get a late start, but what I a thought lot of the was shit I didn't be the ones, man, when they catch up. <laughs> Oh, right, when right. they catch up. Church girls, late bloomers. But what I thought was freaky, I realized was very mundane. What would you think? What do you think is freaky? Are you willing to say that on, on the air? Yeah. It's I like mean, what? I just thought being willing to participate. <laughs> in what? Participate just in what? Saying yes. That's, <laughs> that like, that the, was a five. This ain't the SAT. Book. You don't get points right, for like, signing your name. You gotta... <laughs> I, enthusiasm. I've always said that. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, I felt like gave me points. What is what is enthusiastically? I mean, what? just being enthusiastic just about being there. <sighs> like I'm just happy to be here. Like a smile on your face. Ha- like no, what do you I mean? mean? Just like passionate in the moment. But I'm just saying, like, okay, okay. Let me just be honest. Okay, let me just let me just dive in here. You're not going to be able to be enthusiastic and fully commit to every blowjob. You um, can't. Then don't do it. What? Depends on where you at. <laughs> no. Depends on where you if, no. if like if I mean I, I can't if, be doing all if those all your sex if all every your time. sex is only no. in the bedroom if all your sex is only in the bedroom that, no, that's whack that's got to be five okay that's whack I'm but I'm better than I don't I'm not into that but I'm just saying like I mean realistically if you ain't never did it on the hood of a car or what the, if uh, guys what if what if women require the same level of theatrics with our oral that you all did. Like, I don't you do. think you got, No, we don't. It's not the same level. Women actually take classes. We've talked about See, this. See, what do you... Well, okay, now, see, I think you still got it this fucked up. When you're saying theatrics, what are you talking about? Because I'm scared now. What the <laughs> hell are you doing... I'm just saying... ...or not doing that you should be doing? All the over-the-top... Like uh, what? Wetness We don't need and, the grapefruit lady every time. Okay, that's okay. Not, that's I not commitment. I don't want to do that. Commitment is I want to be doing this. How long am I in there? Am I going to be able to get out if you don't finish... What I heard this weekend is that you have to complete the job every time. No. I, okay, good. See, no. I feel like I need to be around people my age because the millennials are crazy. They're they're crazy. In fact, I I just yeah I can't do that. <laughs> I think those people are just talking though. Like that's not realistic. That's not realistic to me. Oral sex is foreplay. I think so. So I shouldn't have to. I don't. I don't. I'm not stay looking. There until I'm, I'm not done. looking to come every time. That's not, not like eat your yeah. vegetables. And you can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like. think that after a while. The the no, process, 
Okay, the process well, how many minutes guys, are we talking? The process for you guys is much harder than for us, unless we're doing some yeah. type of finger work too. Right. Now that shit. Now that's why the toys come in handy, and I should have brought you guys back some toys. What? We didn't get any toys. I, I didn't. I didn't have an overflow. You didn't bring me no fucking toys. People, people were really into the toys. Yeah. People were into the toys. That's, that's an embarrassing that baggage claim, though. I don't really worry they about dumb that. Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Dicks everywhere. But you know what? I think that it was. You it take was, that shit through the metal detector. It, it was good to Empty see that men are okay with doing whatever is going to help their woman enjoy yeah. the experience. That yeah. was really good. That was a. And there's some dudes who even want another dude in the room. There were. See, that's that ten shit. That's why I was like, nah. I don't, there I don't, were. <laughs> that there that were. might be like the high nine, low ten. That shit. That's, or just like so, one of the guys there. Um, uh, was very He's just 22 Just full of life Virile You know Excited <laughs> And you know He was a young horny boy Yes yeah, So with men that and That are millennials like this I don't think they are Turned off um, By Homosexual sex Right What Well they're not They're not participating But if it's happening around them They're fine You know Who is this What yeah, I need to hear that again. No, what? I'm just saying, millennials, a lot of fluid. No, and come maybe on. they're not. Maybe they're not homosexual, but they're not cringing if they if they're two other guys. If you're at an orgy, they're at an oh, orgy. That's, that's, that's not true. Your I'm focus, telling the your truth. focus group is skewed. Has you know, to be. Matter of fact, you know what? Because I because you invited me to one of the Love and Hip Hop. Um, yes. Uh, Yes. Viewings, yes. Right. Yes. And in one, especially at the Love and Hip Hop Miami, they that's was, how you know Vegas, kissing, right? There and were the whole crowd. Got like the whole crowd was homosexual men, though. You realize that well, no, day? No, no, the, homo, the homosexual he men he were cool, <laughs> and everybody else was kind of like. Mm. I don't think that's true, Kevin. I, I don't, don't think like seeing do, people will watch women kiss all day long. No, that's whole, totally different. Kiss, yeah, I think it is different. But I'm just, but I'm saying that this this guy was 22 years old. And he said that he's not, he's very comfortable in his sexuality and he had no problem. I don't think that has anything to do with being there, comfortable. If he's there and, and guys are having sex or if you're, if he's I at an open in a room party. With two, with two dudes doing it, that's, I'm in the wrong room. But it's an open room. I don't want to be in any of those rooms. This is the room that you were in? I was not in this room. No, this is what they were talking about. We were just at the Did you see two men have sex this hell, weekend? <laughs> hell no. No, no, no. I was in a very, very... Is there something wrong with that, Crystal? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Is it beautiful? <laughs> is it beautiful, Crystal? <laughs> I think I think that sex is beautiful. <laughs> it was sex, good. It was, good. Okay, it was good. Guys, sex is beautiful, and however you choose to express right. sex is beautiful to you. Do you what think? is beautiful to I, me? I don't, I don't know that all millennials, you. besides the small focus group that you are with, right. are willing to sit in a room with two dudes fucking. I, I can't imagine... That every millennial is down with that. No, I don't think every millennial, but I would love to. I would love to hear feedback from our from our listeners. If we have some millennial listeners, I would love to hear their their views. Comment Cause below. I, cause a, <laughs> cause, Comment below. Because <laughs> a lot of I've heard a lot of girls say that they would they like watching guys have sex, gay porn. I don't, but I have heard millennial females say that. Mm. I do. I know a woman, a grown woman, who only when she watches porn, that's all she'll watch. Okay. She said because it's it's more exciting. I don't know. I I didn't dig any deeper because right. I I didn't I didn't know, know what to do with that. Yeah, where to go? <laughs> like, what's the next question after that? Right. Right. More exciting. What are guys doing with each other? That's, <laughs> that, that's different than you know regular vanilla porn. I don't know. Some people say that if you watch a lot of porn, you stop watching vanilla porn because it stops being exciting. So you I can graduate see that. and graduate and graduate. So yeah. I mean, I guess at some point, if if that's true, you could eventually. Be a full on ten on porn. Like I think the fact that it is called vanilla porn. First I didn't even off, know that was a name. Is, <laughs> is what? I mean, is it racial? Here we go with the racial thing <laughs> again. It's not like it's not like it's, gay porn is black porn. <laughs> no, By the way, black is not a word in porn. It's ebony. I do. It I do is, ebony. Right. Ebony. <laughs> well, it's only it's only it's only racist when it's like interracial and they're like. <laughs> White chick says BBC, that kind of, you know, like the it's British, always... Like the British... Th- no, it's no, Big Black not, Cock. Right. That means Big Black Cock. I'm just fucking with y'all. I, know you, I didn't know if you knew that. I was like, I know. <laughs> no, I got a BBC in my BBM one time. <laughs> yeah. It was a show on No Nonsense. It was maybe like a couple of years ago, but yeah. I, you I, just say you did that one time? No, like, it, was I, it was just, just one time, I promise. I joined I joined um a BlackBerry group. Right. 
And well, I, I set up a Blackberry group for all the hosts of the other show because it was just easy for us to communicate that way. Right. This is way before this is before Slack. We finally landed on Slack. Slack is perfect. It's great. Right. But we started on BBM and I was joining all these groups. There was one group that was called Global. I don't remember the name anymore. It was Global something though. But I guess, and you know, my wife show, showed me the name of it later and it was like obviously a gay group, but I didn't see that from the title. So I joined that group mm-hmm. and do hit me up immediately and was talking and it, the, from the very beginning, it felt weird, but the third message was a dick. It was like, oh. the, like the Blue Oyster in Police Academy. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you walk in like, dun, dun, dun. Wait, the fuck? Dun, yeah, so the third one was a, was a dick. So, you know, that's an episode. BBC wow. and my BBM. There you go. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> How'd that make you feel? Um, I, was, I was shocked because, I, you know, I hear women say that they get those like mm-hmm. that, but I didn't think yeah. it was... Like, I'm talking about the third message. First message was, <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm like, yeah. uh, what's up? Yeah. Uh, you're new in the group, blah, blah, blah. That was the second message. And I was like, yeah. And then I didn't, you know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm like, this is a little uncomfortable. This is, <laughs> feels a little forward. See, the, your, your, your spider sense was kicking in. <laughs> and the third one was a dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <It> was like... <laughs> Whoa, whoa. That does happen. That is how. And that I is couldn't. Be- I couldn't believe that dudes are just that. You know, yeah. forward with it. Like, hey, hey nice I know what you want to see. Having. Right. I know what you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I we were when we were there. Uh, Veronica was, you know, talking about where she was, and a, a guy just, you know, just shared one with her. You know, I'm, I'm sure there were more, but I'm just. You just never know when guys are going to feel secure enough or comfortable enough to send. I don't send know if those. that's secure or comfort. If there's something, there's a problem. Well, it's a me too moment. In my opinion, really, you think that's rape? You think so? I don't think it's rape, but I think it's definitely it's 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 sexual aggression. Mm, come Wait, on. Wait, okay. So what what about what about when girls get drunk and flash their tits? Is that do you feel? Do you feel uncomfortable? Because I feel uncomfortable if I get an unsolicited. A, Last time you showed not, your tits, how'd you feel? I, I didn't I do that. I haven't shown I'm my tits like, except to in, in, a, in, a, in a very close. You never safe, girls going wild. I didn't. I didn't. But you know what? I went to Mardi Gras one time with my ex husband, and I wanted to. I got caught up in the moment, and he told me no. You came home with a thousand beads. I wanted to. <laughs> I did. He said no. He was like, "Put your shirt down." I was like. I wanted to have See, fun. See, you just you've been trying to get out of that vanilla for so long. I haven't. Your freak number would have been much higher by now had you done that back then. It was like the Mr. Three Thousand that baseball movie with Bernie <laughs> Mac. No, so, uh, if you had hit that home run back then, you'd be so fluid right now. Well, that, well, but now you, you know, solid in a motherfucker. I am, but I did. Now I did see uh, as uh, we the 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 pic of Safari that has been. Circulating. Oh uh, yeah. I've yeah, I don't see that. no women are, are upset now. In, in fact, they were welcoming. <laughs> I, I saw women were were excited to they receive were. some. They were. Well, he supposedly because he was on the Breakfast Club and he explained he he took the picture in his Snapchat or his Insta story and then saved it. But as opposed to, he's trying to just. According to him, he's trying to save it. I, I hey, I nigga, please. I, <laughs> and. And then it went, it went out, and he was embarrassed, and he did not want it to be out there. He's but embarrassed. Incidentally, Black China just did, you know, the same thing. Similar. She's just had the same situation. She, happen. she has a dick. No, <laughs> no, her her leaked porn. Oh, oh according oh. to her, was in her phone uh, and was. I mean, somehow- I, be- I believe that that can happen, but. To me, it just seems like, you know, when you're about... If you're going to do it, that's how you do it. No, oops. no, because when you're about, like, didn't Safari... You don't hear everybody, dick pick at noon tomorrow. (laughs) Safari just dropped a single, right? Didn't he drop a single? He did, he did. He took the single to the breakfast club along with... So this coincidence happened right along the same time as you dropping a single. That's to me, come on. Is that not his job as as an an artist or entertainer? You got to get get a certain number of eyes... To focus on you within a small window of time? Do your thing, man. I'm not mad at him. I mean, but don't pretend like it's... I mean, I guess he has to pretend like it's fake Oops. for the... Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't I mean, look like... Say, like my bad. Yeah, I sent a picture of my beautiful, huge I want to get this, this single going. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I was, trying to, right. I was trying to warm it up a little bit. But, I mean, the attention... I don't know. He'll probably get a lot of females off of it. You but know? I'm assuming it was, it's, it's nice. Like It is. It is. It is. Um... It is a nice. Do you think? Yeah, I ain't seen complaining. I, in, in fact, there were some women that I thought were a little bit more conservative, and and the number of eyes and and uh, uh, water drops I saw in them them tweets was a little. Uh, do Why you do y'all what? always think that a woman is more? Yeah. Oh, she's a good girl, and she actually likes a picture of a nah, big beautiful I knew you dick. Had it in Duh. You. 
I knew you had it in you. Now you're getting a little more comfortable. That's why That's why guys, girls don't give great sex. Because comments like that. Oh, get out of here. What? It so, is. That's bullshit. Cut because, it out. no, I'm serious. I think it's because you're not listen. capable. No. Oh. <laughs> I hate you. It's because dudes say dumb stuff like, oh, I thought she was a good girl. Oh, I, I didn't think you were into that. I didn't say good girl. But you Those said, are not my words. But you said, I oh, said I thought she was more conservative. That's so it nice. doesn't matter how conservative you are, you still appreciate a beautiful, useful Cock. penis. <laughs> right. It so, doesn't matter. Okay, so they had the Beer Game Matters group. Yes. Mm-hmm. Would you join the uh, the... The, no, I wouldn't join that. I mean, I, I couldn't. You just said everybody enjoyed it. I enjoy, right. but I could, for my own professional, you know, for my professional game reputation, matters. I can't join that. You, you didn't join EGM? I would not join, but I'm just saying, if I if one happened to cross. You can create a fake account. I, I wouldn't do that. But Already has. Right. No, <laughs> is there, I don't, there's not even a group like that. I wouldn't that. do that. Oh, I don't want to see Note that every self. day. That's like a bad... I mean, you don't have to go to the group. You can, you know, you can refrain if you want to, but... No, she just signs in on her friend's phone. That's, right. That's, that's not even a group like that. Girl, let me say that again. Let me say a group. Well, oh, it's it's not like, a she, group she's like hoping that. it is, though. She's like, well, there's not even a girl. Like, is there? Right. <laughs> is there? Are there... So, okay, so women have certain... There's certain looks that we appreciate, right, in, 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 in penises. Certain looks? Yes. We have no idea what you're talking about. So Consistent what? in color, beautiful... Su- Size, good girth, <laughs> good girth. Consistency in color. Yes. <laughs> yes. I said you can't have you can't have vitiligo. Vitiligo. Well, some guys after they're circum after they're circumcised, it's very discolored. Okay. Like you know, I mean, it's still useful. Like, but like curved. Like super black. Like other oh, so it's still a natural color. It's but not black like, on one side, red on the other, pink on the other, or, or on one red. side. Yeah, like, like left it, and right. I don't want to be doing this. Anyway. Go ahead, make your hand gesture. <laughs> no. Show us, show us how you hold it. Camera's rolling. Make your hand gesture. <laughs> anyway. Show us how you hold it again. The point is <laughs> consistency Look, she and color. Look, she not want to ball her hand up no, no more. Right. <laughs> her, her fingers look like the Wizard of Oz. Right. Right consistency and color. Okay. A really good girth. Okay. You know, and then length is all is all great. And a, a, the, the penis to ball ratio. You don't want a very large penis and super want- small balls, or very very large balls and a super. And a- Is it a fashion, a runway expedition? I mean, it just looks. You know, just I mean, like now that was new to me. A certain the, way. the penis to ball ratio. It has to be. It's weird. Seventy thirty. It's seven. It's weird if it's like 20. off. It's <laughs> off. It's weird. That's that is this whole conversation has turned. Is it weird. a sack too long for a shaft? Yeah, I've they, never, they, they need to. Okay. They need to be they, now. So my point was: Are there are there kitty cats that you guys like the look of them, or do you really even care? I I, I think the 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 um the more odd the better. What? Yeah, the odd the odd of the better because that means usually the women who have the odd ones. What is an odd one? What does that know, mean? You know, Explain. the ones that have like the the lipstick hang or whatever. Like those the women lips that hang outside. They they be trying like to do tricks and shit, like pull it out, all the way around your shaft down to your. Shut up. Like, you see, I mean, no you know, when they, when, there is. They call it meat curtains. What? <laughs> you never heard of meat curtains? They do. They do. Yeah. I've never that, heard that of that. They, and they what, what they do? And they, they trim that when you get your vagina rejuvenated. Ain't that part of it? I know that there's a vagina the, vagina when rejuvenation. The lips long, like, but I don't know about a, a curtain. And they and they don't trim them. That would be ridiculously painful. Some but girl, what they do is they do like a um a laser that's supposed to kind of shrink everything and. Make it more pinkish. pinkish. So I wonder if guys are so like into some of them like what? like salami, like the um, the darker color roast beef. Because some of them like roast beef. Okay, right. you don't know that. I don't. I haven't seen a lot of vaginas. I, I don't mind any of that though. That's also silly to me. I don't mind a little hair. I don't mind. You know, actually, I, I prefer hair to ball. Like ball feels like a kid. Like mm. yeah, I be thinking that like what's so. I, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't have like a um. I don't have like a, a pussy preference. I don't okay. like it when the vagina lips are too long, and then you you go to, like when it's too long. When it's too long, and like you down dick. there, <laughs> that might be a dick. Kevin. No, because then it feel like Lady in the Tramp. You remember in that what? scene with the spaghetti noodle and it. Yuck! Yeah, you know that. It's too much. <laughs> that that is. It's too much. I wasn't thinking like that, but now it is. It's yeah, too much. Now I'm confused. So you're saying if the lips hang too, if they're if they're long lips, you're not into it? Yeah, it's too. Uh, I don't know. So what about I, women I have like not. women I, have I like prefer a, be nice and neat, but you know. So you are a, a yeah. He's a, a prude. Picky. So what about they have like fat a fat pussy? Is that okay with you? Yeah, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Dang, he's like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's, I fat, think that's a black thing. What about a real big black clit? People, we like the monkey. What about a we real like big that clit? Camo that, yeah, yeah a, fat, a fat rabbit. Right. So one of the guys at the at at the the gifting suite said that 
there, it was stats. He said black guys have big cocks because black girls have big pussies. And I was like, damn, what? <laughs> okay, that's what I, that's what I was told. He was like, they said that that well, fish like a glove. Those are the porns that I like. I like. <laughs> I like. He I like big booty black women on my porn. Yeah, big- nobody likes a big. Just like girls don't like small things, guys don't like. Well, big- but they said that that Asians, and this is all information I'm bringing back. Okay, see, this is all racism. So Asians getting, this have smaller cavities, vaginal cavities, which is why I need to show you some pornos. Back when I used to watch porno, Asians do not have small cavities. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that probably people are built certain ways. I don't know what those ways yeah. are because you'd have. But to you think it's a kind of person is built that way, though. I think it's. I think. I think that it, it does make sense that whatever region you're in, that men and women would kind of, I guess it, they would fit together. Like that would make sense. So if I don't, I don't even that's believe not, that all black that's guys not what have I know big about ones, a vagina, I, I do. I do think black women are designed to fit us specifically. Okay. I don't I like believe that. that I don't believe that a vagina is built that way. I don't know. I mean, I you know there are, but there are some but you guys may I've heard guys say that thick girls are not are not um I don't know. Help I mean, me, if, Kevin. You, if if <laughs> if you got a if you got a big booty, you can't you can't be with no little little homie dude. That's not going you got to get into some weird positions. You, can't, you do. You can't get to it. I but, will. I will acknowledge that. Well, y'all on the outskirts. I think my can't thing. Can't be in the suburbs. You got to get to the hood. My thing though is that a vagina is not. I don't think it's built that way. Like, I, get, correct me if I'm wrong, because I mean, I mean, I'm only a semi expert. Um, no matter what the vagina size is, after a certain amount of of you know time and being delicate, it opens up. And provides more room for whatever. Well, that's that's room, but but how you're built is just kind of how you're built. So where your cervix is in comparison okay. to your, so that's all. Just, I had sex with a girl one time, a black girl, and mm-hmm. I promise that her her cervix was probably four inches from the yeah. opening. But that's a black girl, so I don't understand. I, 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 and there are black guys that have about four inches of penis. Trust me, there are. Okay. So I I, I don't <laughs> think there are any. How many? How many guys? <laughs> So I don't think that there what are percentage? certain. I don't what, think what's that there your body are certain, count, Crystal? I'm not gonna give a body count, <laughs> but I do think that that that's kind of a myth that you know all black guys are this way and all Asian guys. Of course are this it way. is. Of course it is. I, I think that, that you know Asians are typically smaller people, right? But I don't especially know. in certain parts of the world, not right. everywhere. What movie was that where the Asian was talking about black people too too big, too too buku? Uh, full Metal Jacket. Too buku. Yes, Full, full metal, metal Jacket. Jacket. A very good movie, by yeah, the way. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And he's too gonna hear with some Alabama snake or some shit. He's a King, King <laughs> Alabama, Cobra. Yeah, so. <laughs> Alabama black snake. <laughs> right, that's what it is. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's exactly what it. Is. But I, I, I think that you know they're just. Yes, there are people who are smaller and bigger, but I think we've kind of dispelled those myths about big hands and big feet. I mean, you got a big dick too. Yes, we have. I think that there, <laughs> but there is there is mimicry between there is now. This is true. There is mimicry between a woman's lips on her face and the lips between her hips. Now, joking, women who have big lips on their face have big lips on their waist. Hey, why Crystal do like? <laughs> yeah, you're the <laughs> What you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't want to talk about this no more. I brought it up and I'm uncomfortable. This is your topic. This is, your topic. This is my topic. And you I'm was all you said, Crystal. Y'all had to talk about vaginas all the time, and I'm the only girl. So about time we get to talk about penises. And yet again, <laughs> yet again, what you clam up. Is that we should Be definitely uh, acknowledge that Safari. I told you I was an eight. Trending. I told you I was an eight. This was gonna this was gonna end bad poorly. <laughs> this is this had no. This had, if you're a six and I'm an eight, this had no way to end. I said point five. Anything but poorly. Point five. Six point you, ain't, five. you ain't wearing no choker today. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is so ridiculous. <laughs> I think that every girl with the right man that she feels comfortable of with. Of course. Would be, you know, but some, you know, everybody has to find a, a partner that matches their level of freak. Let me ask you right. this. Let me ask you this. If you're in a relationship with someone that you care about and they ask you for something very odd, what is the first thing you think of, though? Do you think you of, mean? let me consider it, or do you think of, hell no, I'm not doing that? It depends What's on the what first it is. Rem- it rem- depends. Someone asked you to do something odd before? Has that ever happened? It depends on what it is. If it's something that I know I'm totally a- like anti, then P? I'll just say no. P? I'm no. No, so poop, I'm not even so think poop about is it. out of the question. You mean I can't piss <laughs> what, on you? <laughs> what about, that's like a drip, drip, drip. What about you, Okay, so let's say, how about this? How about you're in the shower with them, right? And they just sneak and start peeing on your leg in the shower. I'm out. 
And I'm pissed. <laughs> pissed in the shower. I'm you are I'm pissed. pissed. Literally. I'm pissed. You're literally I'm pissed. pissed. Because that'd be pissed off and pissed that's on. That's disrespectful. <laughs> right. I, that's He's in disrespectful. the shower. It's, disrespectful. it's gonna wash it down. That is disrespectful. So as a joke, that's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm pissed. Now I've, now, done, I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny to me. <laughs> How do you accidentally piss on It wasn't somebody? accidental. I just pretend like, oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> so you did the same thing that Safari did with his... Right? <laughs> that is disgusting. I thought it was hilarious. Did they think it was funny? Of course not, but that's what made it funny. Is there a, is is there a piss tape of you on the, no, is there no a piss tape. tape of you on the web somewhere? I do not record sex. Did, did you upload amateur porn? I do not. I do not record sex. I think that is that is the most ridiculous thing in the world because it is going to get out. And if if you if you wanted to get out, then that's cool. But if you don't want it to, then there's no reason to ever send a dick pic. There's no reason to ever send a, a video. None of that. Don't do it because you're gonna get caught out there. And if you're especially if you're married or something like, I don't get why people do that. Like they're married or they're in a like a you know exclusive relationship, and then there's videos of them out on the web. That's just come on, man. Like you gotta be smarter than that. But yeah. you know, I mean, well, because you know what, in, in especially if you're if you're a single person, you're still out there dating. At some point, that's going you're going to come across someone who has already sent a dick pic, who is al- who who has <laughs> oh, okay, a man. former lover <laughs> that has pictures. New He's setting us up, Crystal. I, I'm saying how many, how, many dick pic, how many Kevin dick pics are floating around the, the interweb. One or two. Oh God! <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm just saying. He's but, being you know, honest. What if? What if? What I, if I, you I, met someone and y'all were vibing and yeah. things as well? And and I have uh, sent a picture. Uh, both not, of you. I've sent a picture, but not a picture of my Kiki. I've never sent that. Picture of what then? Just me, just like, like a, fully just, nude. Yeah, like, but not like spreading. No, uh, no, no, no. Like where you can like, see your ovaries. Like you make, <laughs> no, God. <laughs> I don't even do that. Like no. You don't I have to. You have to check it right I with a mirror. Y'all do don't that. check it with a mirror. She's so conscious of her hand gestures, right? <laughs> right. She's like, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't, like I don't do that at right all. Man. No, I don't. I, I, don't, I don't find like, that. A I don't do that at all. I, just, I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't ever even. I don't think that's even attractive. Like what I would is? never. Because first of all, when you sick before you send a picture to someone, you have to make sure you think the picture is attractive. So I don't think the whole spread over, spread eagle, spread open. Is attractive. Like to me, that looks disgusting. Yeah, I mean, you don't like pussy though, so that's like I don't. So I don't. So I don't send things that I don't like. The, the they're not aesthetically pleasing to me. So yeah, how remember. many? So how many dick pics have you gotten though? Oh, I don't know. You a don't bunch. send them, but a you, bunch. You got one okay. this weekend? No, I didn't. Okay. I haven't gotten one since I've been in a relationship, really. Yeah. What? So they stop coming when the relationship happened. They, their I mean, when well, you tell them, no, you tell me, you tell people you're in a relationship and they don't. Okay, see, so that's what I was saying. I didn't. Yeah. I thought that's what I thought it was like. But when I got that one in my BBM, I was like, damn, you don't even have to request it. You don't have to even be in like, hey, I'm here for this. Like, yeah. none of that. They just come unsolicited. Well, I mean, I th- and I think that's what I assumed it was. like. No, I think I think that when guys assume that you're single and you're open for some reason, because I've had to cuss a couple of guys out. Like, why would you send that to me? Like, what 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 did I do that made you think that that was okay to send? Right. And what was the response? I'm sorry. One guy said, I, I was trying to send you a headshot and head. accidentally Which sent Which head, bro? <laughs> hey, look. So, okay. For real, though. Have you ever let a dick pic turn into, like, no. a robbery turn into a 187? No, no, no. I have, I have had a woman that, like, she sent me pictures of herself and then, like, requested that I sent her a dick pic in return. Mm. Wait and a minute. That, did, you know, did you know her? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that, that's okay. That's not I bad. remember getting a picture of when I was on um, Black Planet. Remember Black Planet? I do. Black I do. Planet. This girl. This is the only time I've ever done this. Black Planet. Yeah. You know, I had a was Black this, Planet page. To, this, this is on MySpace. You, this was back Black then. Planet it was, was before, before MySpace. MySpace. Yeah. I you don't remember a, Black Planet? I remember Black Planet. I'm just like, how long ago was no, this? No, this is shit? a while. And it was the only, was, was it black and white? Was no? But don't look, do that. Don't, was it don't a Polaroid? Try it. It was, don't you got Dick Polaroid. Luckily, this happened very early in my career. The woman, the woman sent me a picture on Black Planet. I went to her house, and she looked like a lizard. <laughs> and I got catfished you way got back catfished. then, okay. and, I, and so I never even like I, I don't meet people like that. You no was done again, you yeah, was done for life. I got to her house, and like she didn't have no furniture in her living room. Like, come on, just come into my bedroom. I'm like, oh my god. And that would have been cool if she looked like. Oh, she so in the picture. she was just trying to. To get it in, yeah, she sent me a picture of lingerie, like we had, you know. And so I'm thinking, okay, cool. If she looked like that, we would it would have been no big deal. But you know, when I got there, it was like ashy, like scaly skin lizard. 
like lizard woman for real. I sat on the edge of her bed like a little bitch. I was sitting there like, <laughs> she's like, you're not gonna come up here? Like, like, Granny, don't. I was like, I gotta go to the store and get, like, I, I played like the real lame shit. Like, I gotta go to the store and get some drink. You want something? And I never went back. And she knew. She didn't call, she didn't even call me. She knew. She didn't text you like, that's so, messed up. Yeah. yeah, my Black Planet page was to advertise my book. Ah. Uh. You you had a black planet or you didn't? Uh, I had no. Well, no. I remember having a black planet page, but I wasn't really on it like that. I did. I was more on MySpace. That was, was, was you're a little younger than that. He's a little bit younger than yeah. that. Stuff, a couple so maybe. years, but not I like think that. Was, I was grown though. I was grown when Black Planet was out, wasn't I? I mean, yeah. we were like. It's yeah. after I got out of the military. It was post two thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I was too though. Friends that used to like. Pull girls off of MySpace like left and right. Like I don't MySpace know. MySpace was that it was social. Was always yeah. meeting women off of MySpace, and yeah. they were like, "Fine." Like he never got catfish. But I think by the time I got to MySpace, I was trying to do business, and I wasn't yeah. thinking. I wasn't. I was, I was no still longer doing thinking business. Yeah, I was no longer thinking like, "Oh, I got to meet somebody." So on that, so. But I, see, and I think how your page is because my my pages have always been about my business. So I don't really get a lot of guys. <laughs> maybe that's not I don't know Maybe that's it Or maybe that's not why But I'll, I'll get some But I don't really get A lot of guys trying to holler Because my stuff is usually Focused on business yeah. So when it is It's like random I don't like, know Chris, I think your freak number Is you shot a little higher I think you shot a little high What do you mean? I, don't know. I just I mean hearing you talk And <laughs> the stuff we've been hearing I mean, It's more like mm, Four-ish mm. You don't like pee You don't like I think anything there's, I think there's hidden freak there man I think that I, I can come so. up, I but, I, but, but, but I think, but I think this is, she said this six is the five, but I think she really meant eight. I think she meant four. Does man? Mean nah, eight. man, you know. I how. definitely did not mean eight. eight. I think she really meant eight or nine. I, eight, eight I, nine? Okay, I, okay. I tr- I have tried it before. See? I'm See? not into it. Four. And, and that's not. I tried. <laughs> I don't get enthusiasm. What about toys? Ain't no toys. Not anal mm, toys. You see? You see what I'm saying? But other toys. <laughs> this is getting worse and worse. Other uh, toys. Yeah. Other I'm not toys. Buying it, man. Uh, everybody I'm got a bullet. It. Every woman has a bullet. That's not that's not a you know that's not a stretch. And if you do get a bullet, you should definitely What about those cones to... that stretch real wide? What? Like they start small at the top and what they stretch really wide at the bottom. What is that? A funnel? I've never seen <laughs> what the that before. <laughs> what the hell is that? Wait, is that an oil change? What the <laughs> okay, fuck what about doing? that one that's got like the egg on it, but it's like crooked? It's like crooked up and then it's got like a uh, it vibrates on it. It's like a long pole, but it's like points up towards like where the G spot would be. I'm not, I'm okay. I'm I'm A. I'm not mad at that. Eh, that's that's still very safe. Is that the one that just has like yeah, yeah, No, it's yeah. able to it's able That's to get dual shit. yeah, dual stimulation to the the clitoris and then also to the clitoris. The- what you saying? <laughs> <laughs> you sound saying four, man. You said you say clitoris. <laughs> clitoris. See, but you know what? That's why that it's, no. it's it's like women's body count. Women always lie backwards about their body. Did she count. give us what's your body if count? Lay, I didn't give a body like, count. I'm if not they doing were that. to say ten, the real number is thirty, right? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's how. That's why I'm saying. I, and I think guys Same lie to here. make it bigger. Really, I do. I think guys act like they've hit more than they have. Yeah, I don't know, but I, I'm. I'm thinking. I, I would hate. Six, I would hate to think I that mean, guys are still lying on their dick now. No, lower. I no. I'm I not, would hate. You're to not a so. six and a half. I'm sorry. I'm, but in the mood with the right person. Mm-mm, mm-mm. One night stands. How many? What is a one night stand? Is it Would someone you that fuck you somebody know? the first time? No, but is it, can it be someone that you know? Can no, it be someone that's that you not know? a one night stand. One night stand, okay, you well, meet no, somebody. No, that, but how about somebody that you know that was a friend? No, one night stand. No, because you—that's even worse. Because no. you know them very well. You know them as a, <laughs> like that's the opposite of a one night stand. I have, I have had that happen before. That's the opposite of a one night stand. That is not the opposite because that person was in the friend zone. That means you know they things about them. Over. That means you've got your private information that they wouldn't normally tell a lover. So that means you know more information about them. But they were in the friend zone. Very no, hard never a one night stand ever. Not, not no, you cannot that I did be. Not know. You cannot be uh, above five. Not There's someone no that way. I did not know. But she didn't. But you, she says you were you were married in college, right? Yeah, I got married at twenty. She didn't even I have got a married chance. at twenty two. She didn't even have a chance. So where did you do all this freaking? Mm. <laughs> I, do, I hate you. Mm. <laughs> I'm saying, when would I have done it? I didn't get. I was like married a super long time, and my senior year in high school, I had a one night stand. Yeah, well, I was I had a fiance in high school. So well, you're in <laughs> high school. Anyway, yeah, you know. I, you can, you're you're sub four, sub five. I mean, sub five. Come on, stop playing this game. I mean, I know everybody <laughs> wants to be a freak. Now you came, mm. you just came from LA. You're like you've been around all these freaks. So you're like, oh, me too, me too. It's me did, too movement. I did no. feel, I did, I did, especially because. I thought that I was higher up than I am. Nah, you were you you, you got married young. You were you were, yeah, you just you, 
You did some freaky things under matrimony. Mm, I don't know though. No, I don't know if you did. No, I, really I don't didn't. think so. I, I think that this is a is a, a wake up moment for you. Like it was. You need to go like out right now tonight. One I night am stand in a relationship tonight. now. Ah, one <laughs> night stand tonight somewhere. <laughs> That's not nice. You're right. That's wrong. Completely wrong. One night. <laughs> Tonight and you, you, I mean you're wasting lifetime. You're wasting time. Like why don't you? Oh, I got an idea. Why don't you and your boyfriend go find somebody and meet them tonight, and then y'all have sex with them tonight? Yeah, that would. I would never. How, what's that. the What's the maximum number of women that can be in your bed? No, no, no other woman can be in. You the see bed. what I'm saying? You're not high. You're not, like everything I'm saying. She's like, no, no, no. So no, you no. would do? You would have another person in the bed? Yes. Was that a, is that a joke? Is, no, a joke? <laughs> I, I didn't think you would. Yeah, oh yeah, I've done. I've had threesomes before, but I thought it was in your past. Mm, well. You've been born again. <laughs> no, no. Are you trying to box him into this good guy? <laughs> no, I am a good guy. No, no, no. I'm a good. I don't. I don't cheat. I'm a good dude See? as far as that goes. So I'm saying. So but I that's think not cheating. Do that. If your woman is that's down true. with it, that's you're true. It's not cheating, Kevin. What about you? Are you into threesomes? She's trying to get the heat off Have of that. That motherfucker is hot on the side of her. It's just burning right. up right now. Anyway, to the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. To the Oscars. I'm surprised it's not a sex toy called the Oscars. What? Why? Actually, I will show you guys. <laughs> there was. So this, this sex, this gifting suite at the Oscars. Oh this gifting suite at the Oscars has the toys throughout <laughs> the, Wait, the what? name. Hold on, let me see. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. We have to share that with the with with the viewers. Yes. The the sex toys are weaved throughout the hmm. Oscar yeah. word. Yeah. That's that's what that is. Yep. Sex is everywhere. I, I I think that you need to loosen up a little bit. I'm serious. Well, people, the people this weekend were very loose. Yeah, but that's they had but a good time. There, there's, why there's, didn't they just had a why did they just put it like a, a huge dick on the Oscar? <laughs> With a big a big dickhead on there, people would be grabbing that instead of the the body of it. Well, I hey. don't know, but I do I do think that people the conversation is is needed. People should talk about it more often than they do because I think when you are, I, I'm assuming, like I said, that that I was my freak level was super high. You don't know what other people are doing. You may not, you know, you you may not know. In the Bible Belt, it's so tabooed. I mean, they they tell you if you. Hell, they tell you if you masturbate, you're going to hell. There were, there were, okay, so that's another another question. There were, there were a couple guys that said they do not masturbate. And I was just like, wow, that's so strange. Just because one of the guys, there's a fleshlight. Did you guys know? That? I didn't know what that was. My so daughter asked me what that was one time. Okay. Well, I didn't I know what it was until. No, until I, don't, I don't mind. I'll talk about that in a second if you want to. I don't, I think you're supposed to talk to kids about this stuff. So, so, so we were saying you can use this on yourself or your girl can use it on you. And he was like, I don't masturbate. So, Yep. Lame. I thought that was weird. What does he do? I guess he just gets gets kitty cat all the time. Like, I guess so. His I mean, woman he, is always he's ready. He's a pretty popular guy. So it's not I don't want to put woman. him out there. So it ain't the same woman. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, then maybe not. No, he has a lot of different women. Yeah. I don't want to tell his business, but yeah. But even that has to get boring or, <laughs> or dangerous. Some <laughs> dangerous, definitely. I mean, I don't think he's worried women. though. Well, that's why I say people. Those celebrity people gra- graduate to weirder and weirder boys or. Men Not that there's anything wrong with that. Whatever. Like, you know, you don't <laughs> think there's anything wrong with men? Men. But, but, you yeah. said, oh, okay, yeah. boys. You said boy. You meant guys. Uh, meant guys. Males. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like other guys. What I was saying earlier, Kevin, though, was um, when it comes to kids, like, I felt like it was necessary to have that to open up dialogue because I know that I know far more than their friends know. And this is my daughters right. or my sons. Mm-hmm. So the way I've done it is I, I've always made it comfortable, dinner table, wherever, you know. I'll say things like the way I got the conversation started. I would just say words. I would say things to kind of make them see that I wasn't afraid to talk about that around them. So then, when they come and ask me questions, I always answer them truthfully. My my idea is just to not ever offer anything that they may not be ready for. So you wait on the question, but you make the environment very calm and comfortable. So like when they say, um, "Dad, what's a blowjob?" You don't go, "Ooh, ooh!" Like you got to you got to just answer that, and you know you got to just take that hit, take that hit in the gut. Because your daughter's asking you what a blowjob is at 10, you got to take that hit. But then you got to tell her what it is. Otherwise, if you let another one of our friends tell them, who knows what they're going to say it is. That's right. true. But how do you, well, yeah, how do you create that type of environment where your child, where your daughter especially feels comfortable to come to you and ask you what a blowjob is? Um, or 
Whatever. I, well, I, honestly, they're not going to ask that question first. They're going to ask something a lot more vanilla. But you have to be comfortable in that answer. You can't make them. You can't judge them, and you can't make them feel uncomfortable asking the simple question because they're going to come back later. Also, if there's ever an opportunity to mention the fact that you and their mom have sex or whatever, like bring that up. Don't be like, "Oh, I had it in a doggy style," and you know that's that's advanced. That's an advanced mm-hmm. move. You can't do that I mean, move. P- parents don't even want their kids to hear them. You know. But you gotta. You got. You have to. Sleep. Here's the thing, right? I want my. Here's the thing, man. I want my daughters to have healthy sexual relationships. I think sex is a huge part of life, and mm-hmm. I don't want my daughters to be deprived of that. So if there's a dude that's that's doing them right. I want them to be doing them right sexually too. I want them to involve, like there has to be there, but in order for them to know what's right and what's wrong and what's healthy and what's unhealthy, there has to be an example. Right. Otherwise, they're forced to use movies or their friends or whatever. So I think this is very important. You have to provide. You have to provide what you want. You have to give them an image of what it is you want them to always be looking for. Mm-hmm. So that's, so like, that's you're, how You're creating a whole nother culture around it because, I mean, hell, we're in Atlanta, we're in the South, especially in the Bible Belt. All of that is taboo. Yeah. I don't feel None like of that Atlanta stuff is, is stuff you're supposed to talk about. Atlanta just doesn't feel like it's in the Bible Belt. Well, Atlanta is, is Atlanta is like a, a, a it's it's, it's not, a bubble it's a pull out of the whole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you pull. Not, yeah, there's no Bible here. Right. No. Sodom and but, I, but I know what he's saying though. We're still in that area, so there's still there are remnants of that floating around. Maybe not around. I mean, you got there's as much as you say there's no Bible here. There's like there's a church on every corner. There is. There's an old lady but, that's, but that that's looking that, at the boy wearing okay, wearing girls' clothing or the girl wearing corners, no clothing. There are churches on corners in other cities too. I mean, in LA, not like churches. Atlanta though. Atlanta, Houston. I was I mean, saying this you, you got to keep in mind. Culture. Yeah, this is Detroit, Atlanta, Houston. Those uh, are all LA. African American driven or you know huge yeah. African American populations. Yeah. But I don't think that um, that that means that they're Bible. But I think people here are very liberal. Yeah, I mean Atlanta is different than most of the South. Yeah. But you know, not- but yeah, I think you have to create that culture. Though. I, I don't, I don't see a way around it because your daughter is going to be put in the buck one day. She is. Oh, yeah, she, she is. is. I, and I'm, I'm not going to lie. Most parents don't more- even want to think that their child is going to have a girlfriend one day. Well, uh, I mean, I, I want a girlfriend. You mean like, a, a like, woman, like or- Crystal? You have a son. You yeah. like if if. If, and he, which he's older now, but if he was like ten years old, and I was like, well, you know, Crystal, he's going to have a girlfriend. He had a girl. I mean, he had he, a girlfriend uh, probably like at ready. twelve. Oh, I mean, I I, t- I took him over his girlfriend's house with Valentine's Day gifts, so I I was okay with that. I didn't want to think that he was like getting a blowjob from her, but he was. I mean. I don't think if there's any good in the world at all, he was. I don't think so. I think that I think that, I really don't think so. But I, I I think that we're so scared that our kid is gonna do something like have a baby or get a disease that we're not willing to talk about the ninety nine percent of the sexual yeah. experiences that don't involve a, an a unplanned par- pregnancy or a, a sexual transmitted That's disease. Good. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I I had my kids early. I got pregnant with my daughter in college. You know, got married really early. So. I, She's at that age. Let me I mean, ask you a question. Here. Is it possible to have mind blowing sex with with a safe dude? Ooh. Ah, oh, that's a good question. Um. Mm. Oof. I want to say yes. No, you don't. You know, I, I do want to say yes because I appreciate safe guys. Right. But realistically, I don't. I don't think I think that I would be so shocked if I did. Mm-hmm. So then, what is, what is a safe guy for for those who? Don't yeah, it might our definitions may be different because what I'm saying, safe guy is like somebody who's just like you know very a nice guy, somebody that I don't clean cut like got uh, like like somebody I put in a friend zone. Right, Packies. right. You see what I'm saying? Like, so is, is it possible to have mind blowing sex with that dude? I think it's different for guys. Women, they can be like very reserved, but then you get them alone, like what the fuck. Yeah. But I think men, if they're reserved, they're pretty much reserved. Like, they're- well, I think that I don't. I think it's about the dynamic of how the guy sees you and how you see the guy, right? So I think that if a guy sees you as someone that he's attracted to, then and he's safe, but he's he may I don't know. So then, okay, not. let me give you the next question. Yeah. Do you want your daughter to have mind blowing sex uh, with her husband? With her husband, come on, man! You see, you, see the, you see the problem. This is this is why we can't advance as a sexual as a culture. <laughs> Women are better at hiding it anyway. Hiding the freakiness. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, okay. I, because I think I think men 
want a woman that seems like this. That's the whole thing, like the freak in the sheets and lady in the street. So you you can't just display your freakiness, or you're considered a bad girl. So if you're or not or not someone that a guy would want to be, you know, take home to mom. So I think the culture. P- you know, pushes women to do that. That's right. a problem. Well, the culture's also shifted a little bit. It's it's asking women to embrace their sexuality and How to show happening? off their curves. It's the and, slut walk shit. Yeah, and, all Well, that. nobody's listening to Amber Rose. That's a publicity stunt. I don't believe that anybody really believes that serious. Like, I'm sure there are girls following her. I'm willing to... Hey, that believe there, that? I'm willing to bet there are some... If, no, I'm Amber saying Rose, they're sure she's... She in, they China they influence a large p- population of younger women. But I'm just saying that's not, I don't think that people are embracing that because of her. I think that's, there's always girls that were slutty. I mean, that, that's that's never been, it's no different now than then. She's saying it's okay, but she's also, she's, it's a conflicting message. And guys still don't respect her. I so mean, you didn't answer the question. You want your daughter to have mind-blowing sex. I told you, after she's married with her husband. That, but that's, that's what we're going to say. We're gonna, I was going to give you a chance to, to no, amend I, that. No, I'm, I'm still there. I'm still there. Because this is the problem. That sucks. This is the problem, though. Sometimes you can have mind-blowing sex and the guy is not a good person for you. So? And that's dangerous because then it's hard to get rid of. It's hard to, it's hard to leave him alone. But if she never has it until after she's married, then she's, she's gonna marry, she has a chance of marrying a guy who doesn't give it. That's very true. And, is, what, and how does she know but what's mind-blowing? sometimes marrying guys, <laughs> guys that are marrying guys don't always give it. I think women need to have a few sexual experiences. That are amazing? No, they need to have a few. Like, they need to be able to use that. Remember we talked about that filter system? Yeah. Like, they have to know what they're getting involved with. and they have, But the only way they can do that, sex is a very important part of marriage. I would agree. I, relationships. I, I, I want to yeah. say, I want to say I feel like sex, drugs, alcohol, those are all things that people kind or, or freedom. Those are things that especially young people get a hold of and kind of OD on real quick. Right. 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 And and they don't and they kind of lose themselves because they haven't necessarily had any guidance on how to how to conduct themselves with or without it, right? Mm-hmm. Like so, yeah, I think I think you need do I, I don't know if I want to say training wheels, yep, <laughs> metaphorically, but you need some some guidance in Into how. in dealing with these substances or, or these experiences. You got to be in the streets that can consume you. You got to be in the streets for a minute, man. I, that's the that's the, the 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 I guess you know the 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 lay the l- way the of saying that. Short of it you got to be in the streets for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You got to you have to experience these things. You have to know what you're getting involved with. And I want my daughters to have wonderful sex for their entire life and they're not going to get that wait until they have a, a husband to to wait until they have a husband to to figure it out it's too late so uh, i don't agree with that but uh, i mean we you're a three just, now i'm not a three <laughs> like a three i'm not a three but i will say this i did get married young and i honestly if things hadn't happened could have stayed you know married to that person and not i didn't really want to experience anything else i didn't want to go test and try and you know what I mean? So I don't think that everybody how, has how that desire is sex to, to do that. It's important, but I, I also didn't, I didn't need to try different flavors. I knew that I was in love and I wanted to be with that person. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to make that fun and interesting, but I actually hate the fact that I ended up having to, you know, that, that I believe in soul ties. And I think that when you are with somebody that you're, sex is very, very powerful, is very spiritual. Right. And I don't think that you should just be going around and experiencing that with random people. Mm. I know. Bible Belt. I agree. I, I agree with you on that. I just think you got to you gotta work your way up to it because you don't necessarily know what you're doing. You don't, but... And, I, and at the same token, I, I can... If, if someone never had sex mm-hmm. before they were married, I could... I understand why that could be the, the way... To do it right, right, because you're in a commitment with someone where you're experiencing and going through all these emotions, and you're still being guided, you're still being supported, you're not just left out there in the cold, right, right, right. Um, and and you get a sense of what is healthy and what is unhealthy, right? Because, well, and matter of fact, with the Oscars, uh, I think one of the, the tongue-in-cheek things that may or, uh, like, I'm curious to see what, what they're going to do in terms of uh, Harvey Weinstein and, and sexual deviancy and, you know, the, the way that those women had been treated. 
Well, I don't think the Oscars, the Oscars is their responsibility, but I do think Hollywood, it's going to be interesting to see what happens after this because I think the Me Too thing almost got pushed way out of, I mean, now I think that people are going to feel uncomfortable and a new structure has to be set. I definitely think that, you know, sex because, and I think part of what causes sex to be such a big deal and such a, a difficult thing is the fact that people don't talk about it. You know what I mean? So mm. maybe, right. No, but but I'm just saying, so because <laughs> for Harvey Weinstein was doing that, doing all those things to those women, they probably felt embarrassed because a lot of times if a man is sexual, makes a sexual advance to you, you feel like it's your fault. It goes back to what I'm talking about. It's about what good girls are supposed to be doing. So you don't want to tell somebody this guy took his penis out because they're going to look at a woman like, well, what did you do to make him do that? You know, what did you, were you being provocative? Were you, were you sending him signals? So I think that there's, I think that the, the, there's danger in mm. what we, what we tell women about their sexuality. What the fuck? Huh? What the, like, what do, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. This idea that there's ever a time when signals are not being sent. We do not control signals. We are geared by chemistry. We are built to have sex. No, there you can control signals. That's not true. You can control signals. I'm talking about being overtly agree. flirtatious with someone, making someone feel like because I've had guys that I'm just friends with tell me that they thought I like them. And I'm like, they were misreading. You're being too intelligent. What I'm talking about is <laughs> what I'm talking about is carnal. It's below that. Like, do you know the levels the of, of being a human? Like right. You know, where consciousness may be the right, top right, or right. whatever. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Existentialism may be the top consciousness. But when you get down down to those base layers, though, like I gotta eat. It's I got animalistic instinct, right? You you cannot turn those signals off. I don't give a fuck what you do. If I feel those signals from you, you can't stop it. But what if you are misreading them? It no, there is no misreading. That's what I'm saying. That's what you just said. on Instagram know that there's some shit you can't just. <laughs> There's no way to That's turn that off. Do there, you're, you don't have to do something. Like, you don't, like you know have, you you don't have to say something or wear something. It's happening because it's supposed to happen. We are geared. <laughs> we are geared. There are certain men who you have a, a you like the way they smell mm -hmm. more than other men. And I'm talking about sweaty no, smell. It's like a, they're fair, the fair, it's pheromones. It's, yes. it's all that. I get, yes. I get it. You don't control that. I can't not sweat. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. There's nothing you can do about it. And I think that people are, uh, we're so damn smart and we're so evolved and we're so refined but it, that's all bullshit stupid. that's all yeah. bullshit yeah. if you have a feeling from a woman it's nothing you can do there is nothing you can do you do not control your desires me and my wife got an argument about this when we we're talking about Nicki Minaj's brother um he's not wrong for feeling those things he's wrong for acting on them he can't control feeling he feels, them right he has nothing to do with that you don't want you don't you, I, I so just R. Got, Kelly's not wrong he's not wrong for wanting it he may be wrong for doing Acting it. on it and orchestrating because it and as a culture, it. as a culture and a society, we've all got together and we've agreed that we're not going to accept that, whether right, wrong, whatever. There was a time when young girls was the thing. You got married to a woman, she was 13, and you were grown. Right. And you, you know what I'm saying? When, Way past grown. As like soon as she got her period, they were talking about trying to get her out to a man. So that's something as a culture we've changed. But that's not how it's always been. But it's not wrong for R. Kelly to want that. It's wrong for him to act on it only because we've agreed that we can't do that anymore. I I I I understand what you're saying and I do I mean there's you can't really argue that point because what someone's internal you know it's just like being gay or being straight or being whatever you can't control what you desire you can't control those feelings. Now I you know Now the, but see here's the problem with that. Now that you agree with that Kevin do you agree with that as well? Kind of. You can't not agree with it, though. Yeah, Here's the thing. I mean, well, yeah, he, he paints you in a corner. It's a good-ass argument. I philosophically, give now, we have a conversation, though, see? Because see? now, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that it's this way. I'm sorry I'm sorry that it's this way. But now that we agree that it's not under our control, are we supposed to be stopping and limiting those things? Who says we are? Now, that's where we get into this well, thing. Well, if something can, can, can hurt... Or is detrimental to someone else. What you, what's going on inside of you, I can't control. Right. But at that point that it, that it, that that your actions are now a part of 
my existence right. and it could be hurtful to me, then yes. Hurtful, is, you is, hurtful are, is a weird no, word. If No, it isn't. It's really not. Because men that are attracted to children that are kidnapping. Well, let's, let's, and, keep it, let's keep it more vanilla. Let's keep it okay. Harvey Weinstein. I'm attracted to this woman and I want sex from her and I'm feeling. But if she does not desire the same from you, that's a problem. So I, I think that whatever I, I could want to take Kevin's shirt. I could right. desire to take Kevin's shirt, but which is not wrong. I just want to take Kevin's shirt. But at the point that I decide I got a knife in my pocket, nope, see, I'm going to... No, come on. That's too far. No, it isn't. I'm talking about pulling the dick out because that's what we were talking about. You're saying exposing penises. So I'm saying I feel this. I feel these these vibes coming from somebody. Whether or not she's giving them off, I feel them. I pull my thick out and... My thick out? My dick. <laughs> I was about to say thing, but I was like, you know, this is not, this is not a vanilla show. So it's not a thing. But anyway... Definitely not today. <laughs> that's an innocent dick pull. It's not. I think that's an innocent you, dick pull. No, you do that's not pull it out. Pull. You do not pull out your mm. dick for someone that has not I, asked I think for if, it. I think an innocent dick pull is, is not, she's sexy. Uh, yeah. It, it's, ah, oh, we're flirting. Yes. Oh, yes. She on, touches you know my what? leg. We're, you know, we're, right. we're in my office. She's auditioning for a part. She now, seems like she likes me. Like if her, <laughs> if, her if, if a woman's nipples are hard, she can't control that, that they're showing through her shirt. There you go, but I still see them. I'm not offended, right? But she didn't pull them out. But I'm also I see them through. But I'm also going to respond. But if to I that. took out, if I took out a, a titty out of my shirt and held it and was like, "Hey, Crystal, I seen a picture that you showed us that you took down because there was a lot of cleavage showing before." Yes. That's not very different to me. You're, I'm seeing top sides, everything. So like, there's only a couple of things missing. Side boob. There's only a couple of things missing. What things are those? That's the nipple and the areola. Everything else is there. I see, it's it's there for everyone to see. It's so just, it's just. It's just brown skin. Mm. It's melanin. Okay. <laughs> this, the point is, it's not. It's it's not. And I'm not offended. If I if if I was in a room with you and you felt like I was showing you too much sleep and you made you feel uncomfortable, that's fair. It's fair for you to say is that. It, is it really though? Yeah, you weren't. I don't think you were really. doing anything to me. Like but by I, having but that's that. Also out. very different than pulling a. A dick out, I don't though. think so. I don't. I don't think very no. much. I don't think so. I, I think the. But didn't we have this? Didn't we have this discussion? I think before I, maybe. Well, I, I think particular, and you know what? Maybe this is why in in Islam where they make you wear head to toe, you can't see none but the eyes. Yeah, because right? men can be attracted and they can't Absol- help it. They're. Because I do, I do think a woman's a woman's beauty and her body that shit is a superpower, and it may not even be necessarily be something she can control. Maybe you need some of them glasses like Cyclops or some shit, like for real, because you may not understand the 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 type of of draw that you have. Like I don't honestly, I don't know what it is that makes men's heads turn. It's gear gear. But women do. Right, but what is that superpower it's what supposed is to be? That button? What is that trigger uh-uh. that it's in, what is that? It's in you. It's so deep down it, in you that you don't have you don't a know say. What it is, That's what right. I'm saying. That's the superpower. I a hey, <laughs> look, I because I'm like your eyes damn near just go you can't fucking help because man That is very look. instinct instinct. I'm just being I'm I'm being absolutely one hundred. A man when a when a, a a beautiful woman walks by, a man will change his entire yeah. Entire body. He will watch and has no. Yeah. A woman will at least just do this. We she can. I can. Eye. I can not even. I can. My eyes can just scan the area and I can see something that's amazing and I can just act like it didn't even happen. And then I may go back later. Amazing, she says. It is amazing. It is amazing. It is amazing. But, <laughs> but men are not able will. to do that. Yeah. And it's funny. Like I, I'm. I, I've been driving and I'm definitely nowhere near any of that. But I've been in my car and a guy would be looking at me so hard. I've seen this one guy rolled up on the side of the, <laughs> rolled up on the side of the. He was getting off on an exit. But looking at me and and drove about wrecked his car. car. Yeah, and I, and my about drove off a bridge. And I, and I and I laughed, and he was just like, you know, you could see it. Just it, who does that? Like who can't keep? And I don't think he was trying to wreck his. Children. See, oh, Kobe Bryant won, Kevin. There you go. What? If no one else, <laughs> if no one what? else won, I noticed that Octavia Spencer did not, but <laughs> Kobe Bryant did. Kobe maybe Bryant? he's just a winner. That's maybe he's just he a is. winner. He's a winner, he's man. Just a winner. He's In a winner. Every single aspect of life. Maybe they're just, just, just winners and losers. <laughs> hey, but I, I guess that's that's not a segue. But we kind of just jump by mistake. <laughs> Seriously, on no. What do you guys think about that? I think there are some people that are just. Destined we're to be winners, we're, and we some people too, so. that are destined to be losers, and that doesn't make you bad, right or wrong. I don't think, but I do. I mean, 
Jesus. I mean, it was like. Well, you got to be tall. There's oh, that. goodness. But, uh, I don't think that has anything to do with it. No. I think that um, Kobe Bryant is um, one of the best ever in his, in his sport. Mm-hmm. And because of that, successful other people mm-hmm. are drawn to him. Okay. And it's there's not really a it's very seldom somebody who has that level of success will not win in other things. Cuz he's he's so far up there. He's been but I think that's more to it though. I, I think wanna he has see the what I don't know what else was in that category though. I I, I feel like it was the <laughs> Who else was running? I think that it's, right, a, you know. it's a mental thing. Like do you guys watch we talked about Will Smith's IG on here before? Right. He he is so inspirational, but I also think that there is something of a mentality of people that expect to win and a mentality of people that expect not to win. And I think that drives you a long way. And I think for someone like him... That don't have shit to do with it, Chris. I'm I sorry. You know so. what? But you know I what? No, I so. will, I'll, I'll say this because I say some Will Smithy shit and people be like, oh, that's bullshit, da, da, da. And then Will Smith says it and all of a sudden it's inspirational. Maybe no, it's that's not, just because of his level but of success. I do think if you, like, whatever you forecast in your mind, like, if you believe that you're going to fail, then you're going to fail. <laughs> Brian, I think if you believe you're going to win, like, then no, you're going to win. And I expect to win. 90% of everything that happens to everyone is luck. Everything that 90%? happens. 90%? 90%. Ah, we, I'm going to say 90. People, look, here's the thing, nah. right? Here's an argument that I have with a lot of people. They're like, I work hard. I do this. I work harder than you. It doesn't matter. The mm-hmm. prerequisite is working hard. Everybody has to work hard. Yeah. Now, there's some people who are just cousins or sons or, you know, they suck in the right dick. Those people <laughs> are not included. Cut right. them out of the conversation. But everybody else, working hard and working harder than everyone else is a prerequisite. That's so true. So now let's disqualify everybody for saying, right. I worked hard. Okay. It's really about those people who that, that was 90%, the 90% of it is those people getting lucky. You were in the right position, the right place. Somebody need, like you could be working I at think a, all, well, you're calling all those things luck? Yes. Because I, I think that, no, but I he's think not, they, though. they play a part, but he's I wouldn't not, call it luck. But he's not though, because he's assuming that that person along with a lot of other people are all doing the same amount of work. And I, so I, yeah. so he's not saying that it's like, it's coming with no, they're not working hard. But what he's really saying is there are a lot of people working hard yes. that are going to get that same, le- so, so mm-hmm. what's the difference between Will Smith and the other people that are just as positive and work just as hard is luck. the fact that he got luck. He got luck. I, I can't. There was, there was a situation I do think here there are there. a lot of people that are hard workers. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of people that I feel like are very deserving of it. And I, but I think that after so many times, I think the only difference that I have with, with Be Honest Theory is that I think there are certain people that can fail miserably over and over again, but they never take it personal. Mm-hmm. They never take it in. I've met a lot of people that when they fail, they. Oh, this always happens to me. This is just how it goes, you know? And yeah. they become, that becomes Chris, their reality. Let's, let's be honest, though. Honestly, m- majority of people who fail over and over just stop. There's one they or do. two people who have a story, and you know they their do. story because they finally made it. Or they get but, bitter, or they but, become bitter. And but those they get a chip and, on their shoulder, and that, sup- and that stops you from having no, success. No, but that's supposed to happen. <laughs> if you get punched in the face enough times, you're going to stop going wherever you're getting punched in the face at. Now, if you're an idiot and you say, you know, I'm going to go one more time, and then you get punched in the face, but then you get a million dollars, you have a story to tell. So everybody's like, oh my God, all you got to do is keep keep your feet moving. Just keep doing it. Look at Steve Jobs. Look at such Like these people, this is extraordinary, <laughs> extraordinary luck that went into this. They failed miserably a few times, and then they got lucky one time. Now, you're saying, had you just tried one more time? I know people who have failed 7,000 times. I do too. Stop it with that. It's luck, and I, I, I hate saying that because it almost makes people like, well, why do I even try this? Yeah, why do I even care? It takes, it takes away dark. the But you have to remember that the prerequisite, though. Is always hard work. You have to work hard. Well, Everybody think, okay, worked hard. I think if you work hard, you will have a certain level of success. There's there's no room for everyone to have Diddy success. There's no right. monetary success like Diddy. Right. There's no room for that. That's just not possible. So is Diddy lucky? I don't yeah. know who work as hard as Diddy. Yeah, I think he is. I think he got lucky. Yeah. I think I think that he was interning at the right record yeah. label with the right issues the happening right at the right really, time, in the right well, place. I, I'll take Biggie. It this. It, and even I'll take it even a step further. It, if you don't live in the right area, there you go. Yeah, that, that whole that whole yeah. area, all puff, all Diddy's friends and all the people lived in his We're area, all in the all same. The, they yeah. went to Howard. Yeah, yeah. yeah all yeah. those dudes are like yeah. if, if that that little group of New York people yeah. was the industry for so long. Yeah. They got all the executive jobs. They yeah. were all the A and R. That's not luck. That's location. That's luck. No, How do you get, you're not location. born there. It's you're lucky to be born yeah. there. You're a rapper and you're in a country music town. It's not working out. 
It's, but if you were born in flat, but you were born in flat, but you but if you were born in flat, but you you weren't you're not better because you're born in flat, but you were just lucky enough to be born in flat. And I tell you what, if you were born in Kentucky and you move to New York. The guys in New York are not welcoming you just not because you move. Oh, well, I'm a, I, I was born here, so I'm going to get out of this location and go where it's hot. They're looking at you like, who is this Kentucky nigga that's all here? Those get dudes, back. Yeah. All those dudes. Eddie F., all those dudes. Eddie F. They yeah. all know each other. They yeah, all they know all, each other forever. They, they went to school know together. Each other for Buster Rhymes and them all yeah. went to the yep. same school. All those dudes know each other and have known each other for years yeah. and years and years. And when one got on, I got a partner, I got a homeboy, I got a cousin. Yeah. And then they all became, they all started moving up together. They were all executives together. Mm-hmm. They were all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not, it's luck. So they can call, they, well, it is. It is networking, and it's just, but it's being in the right place at the right time, which I guess goes back to luck. But I, t- I was telling my daughter that because my daughter is, is working on music and stuff, and I said, it, it, you know, knowing people, if you work hard, then those connections that you have, it'll pay off for you. If you don't have, if you don't know anybody and nobody knows you, you can work hard, and it really won't matter. <laughs> so you'll be, you'll have some level, but it will never. It will be not be that astronomical. level. Yeah, not that. Level. It happened in Atlanta too, though. When it, when yeah. LaFace was here, when when LaFace was here, but we were we were a little too young, actually. Yeah. Well, well, not only that, for me, well, you were here. For I was me, here. I yeah. came from out outside. Yeah. So when I moved here, I had missed out everyone that I've worked with and everyone who's successful right now. We're part of that movement. Am I right? That movement, and and I. Still started realizing all, of them. All, all these people are connected to the LaFace era. All of them. And even some of them, oh, I went to school at this school. I knew him. I've known him from the Look time. Look at noontime. Yeah, that, and that's a yep. big All one. of them. Yeah. Yep. All of them. Yeah. There's, there's no deviation. No. All of them. And I don't care. I've, I've worked my behind off. I will <laughs> never have that connection because I don't know them from that time. From that time, right. And so it doesn't matter. But I think that the the, the the silver lining, though, is that there still is levels of success that may not be the, the, the highest level. You mm-hmm. know, you may not be the Kobe Bryant in your field. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Probably not. Gonna but be. there are a lot no. of great as basketball Chris Rock players. Said, you're not. You're there, not but just, you but there are a the lot best. of great basketball yeah. players who worked as hard as Kobe, but yeah. just weren't as you know as lucky and talented yeah. to to be in the right schools with the right coaches and the mm-hmm. right training and the right time to make Kobe be just that much better than everybody right. else. You know I what I'm saying? I think that a big key to life, and I've been even working with, with this with myself, is finding your own level of success and. Finding what what is going to make you happy because you have to you, if if you go to bed every night thinking unless I become Will Smith I'm not going to be happy right. you're going to be a miserable person so what you have to do is say I'm going to work hard and this is this is the niche that I'm going to carve out for myself and that niche may lead you to huge things you know what I mean or it could right. lead you to a, a happy place. If you work hard and you put in your 10,000 hours, I really believe in that, you will achieve a level of success that allows you to maintain for yourself. And, and then if something happens, you may have to rebuild because even people that get to a certain level of success often get knocked down and have yeah. to rebuild. But at yeah. least you'll know how to do that. But I do think that you have to, everybody has to come to their own their own personal definition of what success for me is. These are the things this. that I want. Of the three of us, okay, how many times have you been that close to something Astronomical I've been at the doorstep yeah. So yeah. Many, many times, times. And yeah. it could have gone Either way yeah. It just didn't It, it didn't, just didn't, it go just that didn't way. fall You tell yeah. me that's not luck yeah. yeah I was there I was at the place I needed to be At the right, right time Right I had the right um, The right resume I had right. You know what I'm saying The right things were going The momentum was my going my direction Then all of a sudden There was one thing Yeah One day Where one thing happened And you see it mm-hmm. And it's like Oh shit changed Right Right Yep Tell me man I, I, I think people have got to stop being so hard on themselves. Mm-hmm. Continue working hard, man. Adjust your level of what success is to you. And you know what I'm saying? Figure and you can't out look how to at make it. that. Don't look on social media for oh. <laughs> your answers. That's because that's a lie. I think that, that is, <laughs> that is and we definitely got to have, um, I got a, a mental health professional that we're going to have join us. Because I just think that that's a lot more dangerous than people realize it is. You know, there's, there's this idea that these certain things are definitions of success or... You know, it be a certain look, be a certain um, a certain level of material material wealth, and I think that people are hard on themselves when they don't have those things. You know, and I have to even remind myself, you can't look on there and compare yourself to any of that because once you do that, you've 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 lost. You know, you just right. gotta be yourself. But that's that can be that can be easy to say and hard to actually do. But I think that social media is causing people because you don't know where that person is in their journey. <laughs> right. You to, don't know what they've had yeah. to deal with. You don't know what's going on. You don't even know what the picture looks like without the filter on it, really. Right. You know what I mean? So it could be a huge picture 
and they take crop a small piece of it out and put a filter on it. And you're thinking, oh, what's wrong with me? And here's, it's like, here's another one. If you have nothing but industry friends or industry type friends, get you some other friends because yeah. they're painting a very, very, very odd picture for you. And you're going to hate yourself yeah. if you. Yeah. We've had this conversation for years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you know, and because because I was a person that because I was working really hard as a single, single parent and had my own business, I didn't really do anything but work. Right. Which resulted in me only having, the only people I was ever around were people I was working with, which is a very dangerous thing. Like, because <laughs> because you can't, you cannot Especially assume. Especially if you're in the industry. It is, but you can't assume that people that you work with are your friends. And I, and I had a very, I have a very optimistic type personality. So you think, these person, these people are my peers and you assume that they're friends, but that's not the case. You really have to be specific about business and friendship and friends are people that I I like their character and I feel like they are people that are going to strengthen me and I can strengthen them and I choose those people people I work with just happen to be in the same field as right. as, as me you know that's but you have to really make those make a conscious decision to choose friends that have the same type of mental you know uh Outlook on life that you do. This, you know? this changed directions it quickly. It did. Kind of like inspire people and everything. It's Will Smith it does that to people. Will right. Smith, I'm, he's his to me. His Instagram is the best one out there because he's not flexing on people. I mean, you see him doing some very very wealthy things, right? But he has a very guy next door approach to inspiration, right. where it's different than the guy that's like, look at my big, look at my private jet, see me dancing. You could be well, like he, me. He's always like, kind of been a, kind of a, 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 a knucklehead, like a silly guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's never yeah. been like, I take yeah. myself too seriously. Like, yeah. he's been Fresh Prince the entire career. That's true. Entire That's career. a good point. But I, yeah. And I wonder why, it made me think about The Pursuit of Happiness, that movie that was that was such a big, it was such a big uh, uh, film, but it was very inspirational. And I remember thinking like, wow, how did he get that role? And then I realized that probably, I do feel like things are drawn to you by the energy you put out, but he seems to be very much like, the character that he played in the film, you know, not as far as like being down on his luck, but just his inner tenacity and his outlook on life. Now, I'll be honest, I met the actual author of the book that had the story. The he was not Chris very Martin. nice. <laughs> and <Really? laughs> he was a total asshole. So I, I was so shocked because I expected him to be like, you know, right. he was very Bubbly arrogant. And, yeah. yeah, he was very arrogant and expected to be catered to and was very... Um, what? Yeah, it was That's, weird. Like, I would not like that movie anymore if I... I know. If I, if he but, felt like it was his moment now. He finally arrived. He, he did. Like, he did. Getting, he felt I'm like, you know, I, this is who I am. You guys should be kissing my behind. But I felt like I just choose to think of the movie as Will Smith. Right, I'm sure he him. was that way early <laughs> on in his life, you know, but he just at that time he was very much... You know, the success of the movie had him very, very, um, you could tell he was very, he, he, Hollywood. he well, <laughs> he felt entitled, you know, because yeah. of the movie. Yeah. You know, I guess your life, your life is made into a major motion picture with Will Smith. You feel like people should kiss your yeah, ass. Those, <laughs> those are, as, as far as, you know, the, the Olympics of life, those, right. that's. It's pretty big. But, yeah, but Will there was, Smith played me in a movie. There was no about humility me. there. Yeah, about me and I've That's inspired. That's a big fucking joke. My book inspired millions, you know, from the book right. and then from the movie. But yeah, there was, I just wanted him to be more like the character, but he, he was not. So I, I don't, we, I guess we're, we're so far into the show now. Are we going to talk about the Oscars at all? Well, I think. We we know that some black people have won. We, we did. We, we, said, we <laughs> said Kobe's a Kobe Kobe's a success in life, right? <laughs> He's a He's a winner. So, He's a winner. I noticed Octavia Spencer because Octavia Spencer and Mary J. Blige were both up for Best Supporting Actress, and neither of them won. For what movies? I still haven't seen well, I Jordan have, Peele or Get Out. I want to know about that. Yeah, that well, that's the, that's, that's the best. The that's the big one. Be the big one. So, do you guys really think that Jordan Peele's movie was good enough to be best move best picture? I don't. I don't think it was. I don't think that Get Out was the best movie. You know. Okay, so let me read the let me read the movies that were that are up for best picture. Okay. So we have Call Me by Your Name, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water, which actually had uh, Octavia Spencer, and uh, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I've only seen two of those movies. Which three, ones? three of those movies. Yeah. I saw Dunkirk, which should not win. I saw Get Out, which should not win. And I saw Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, which is a better movie than Get Out. But I'd be surprised if that win. It doesn't seem like the best picture. That movie had a, has had a really big 
political push, though. Has but, it? Yeah, they, they really, really pushed that. It, it wasn't a bad movie. Yeah, I, I didn't see it, but I did, I've did. i seen a lot. I've read a lot on it, and there are a lot of critics that really love that movie. Daniel Day-Lewis is in one of those movies, Phantom something. I haven't watched it yet. Phantom Thread. I haven't seen he that. He usually gets those awards. Like, he, he's always he's in that conversation. Sure, he's a sure thread. Like, he only does a few movies. He only has a few movies, but the movies he in he's in are always big movies. So. Yeah, he is. He's a good actor. He's, yeah. he's one of those... those Method guys. Yeah. Yeah, I that, don't know. I don't. The rest of these, a lot of them, I haven't even heard of. I don't so. think they get out is a good enough movie to be best picture of a year. Of I think, year. And, and you know what? Well, get out is a divisive movie. I'll say that because it depends on which which side you relate to. How so? Has like if you're if you're a black person, especially a black male, you you feel like I enjoyed the movie. I felt like it was a great movie, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I could recognize some a, a white person not feeling like I would feel about it. Right, but I but I don't I don't I think we're talking about in, in movies even, we always that's not part of the, it, yeah. for, for whatever reason in movies we always kind of pick who we see ourselves as or not what, as a what best picture though, right? But I don't to, think whatever. that's a part of best. So picture. I don't think it's well. I mean, that's this is me, but I, I feel like. I feel like it because of that it wouldn't be best picture, but I still think Jordan Peele should be best director. Okay, okay. I, I felt like the movie. But I think I think for me because there's, there's never I've never seen a film like what I saw in. What was in so Get What Out. was so great about it? Honestly, I mean I'm not I'm not hating. What was, I mean just in terms of and just in terms of that type of picture, I don't know if it was more suspense or if you want to say it was suspense or horror. Horror. I would say horror, and, I've, and I, I can't think of very many horror movies that have ever been nominated for best picture. Right. Other, when the, the year I was born, Jaws. Yeah. Jaws. Um, I think Silence of the Lambs actually won. Um, and that was yeah, that was creepy. That was but Science it was a good Lambs movie too, though. And but very, Sounds of the Lambs was actually very a good intellectual movie. and great acting. I don't yeah. think Get Out had great actors in it. I don't think I think it was it was very B movie ish. No, I don't think it was B movie. Get Out was very B movie ish to me. It could have been easily went straight to DVD. I think Daniel Kalu. Did my pronounce his name right? Daniel I Kaluuya. Pre- I don't know Who's how to pronounce it. The the lead actor the lead of, of, of that Get Out was that was also in in Black Panther. <laughs> right, the, right. Okay. the guy that dated the white girl. I hated he thought he was very good. Right. I, I thought, especially for him to be an unknown at that point. Yeah, he, I thought he did a great job. I don't think it was much of a stretch though. I don't think anybody had to stretch to make that movie happen. I think everybody just played like their little part, and it was you know, and like you say, it was well directed. Because because he had he gave them all what they needed to do, and they just kind of had to just fall into the, the role. It, there wasn't any stretching. Mm-hmm. I don't I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm I kinda... think it would have been. Matter of fact, I think it would have been a different film if it was uh, if the if the racial aspect of it wasn't there. It would have been a different film. That's the only thing that made but the movie good the, at all. Yeah, that was the that whole was it. Thing. If, if that had not been there, it would have been if cheesy. there was just if, take it. If, if 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 the lead actor was a white guy. Yeah. Right, and he was just dating this girl whose family happened to be these crazy people that was sucking you in. I would have turned that. That'd have been something from the eighties, weird science. Or something. I, cheesy. Been, yeah. I kept I expecting. I kept expecting to say uh, pop up on the screen, shot on iPhone. <laughs> I, I just got did. It, it just seemed so like and you know. That. It reminded me. I thought because I didn't see shot it for a long iPhone. time, and I, by the time I saw it. You know, people were talking about how amazing it was, so I was kind of let down. But it's because I waited a long time, right? And people were talking about how you know it was it was game changing, and then mm. I was just I was let down. I enjoyed, but it. I also feel like it was kind of spoofish. So when I like when I think of like like when Marlon Wayans or Ke- they make the movies that are like Cheesy. the the don't s- don't be a menace in society while drinking. Maybe not that bad, but you the thought scary, it was a scary movie. It's yes. a scary movie. Uh, like, it was just kind of satirical. satirical. Yeah. It did. It seemed That's very satirical. It was cheesy because I, I, I kept wanting to like. Am I supposed to laugh? Or exactly because Jordan Peele. I, don't I would think expect it was that. that kind of well the scary movie. It was like way more slapstick kind of humor. Like I'm just saying, it gave me the cartoonish. same feeling. And then I just I don't maybe that's what it is. I didn't think there was. The, the mother was pretty good. The father was weird. But there was no acting that just stood out. I thought Lil Daniel, Rail. he was... <laughs> Lil Rail was good. That's he was the, funny. He was, was the best one. He did his job. Everybody he else was, the was best just one. They were just there. Yeah. Any, we could have been in Get Out. Dan, and I just kept wanting him to... I And he was... A, he, it's a great first movie for a, a new actor. He's obviously a very good actor. But I didn't get anything from him. I just hated that... The artwork with the eyes bugged. I mean, it, it, I get it. It was the shocking. That's what made it spoofy, like, because it was just like he's just sitting here in the 
she's doing the thing. It's weird. But it was a fly on her eyeball. Place, I'm like, no, it, it was, yeah, yeah. it was just, And it was, then the guy, right, it, for I, me, it I, felt I very satirical. Think, I still think Get Out will be one of those cult movies. Oh, it, it will, will. Definitely will. Definitely will be. Definitely. It, 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 it's, a, it's a good movie. Don't, don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. In its entirety. Yeah. It's a good movie. But when you start breaking it down and like looking at the pieces, mm, shot on iPhone. I can't say, I, I'm not going to say shot on iPhone. I do think it was directed really well. But <laughs> I, I, I've seen some, wait a minute, I've seen some incredible short films on Sean Shot iPhone. on iPhone. iPhone. That's true. Have you seen them? That's true. Yeah, I, but you always find a, a, a slick way to like shade some shit, man. You always that's all <laughs> him on it. Yeah, he specializes, him to the table. He specializes in crafty shade. <laughs> he does. He does. But I can't say if it deserves to win because I haven't seen the other film. So I don't even call it, me by call me by your name. I've never no, even no heard idea. of that. Yeah, no idea. So I I don't know, but I'm assuming that I want to see the shape of water or whatever. I do want to see the shape I of water. See that. I haven't though. I want to see the phantom thing because Day Day loses in it. Right. I I saw the three billboards and it was better than Get Out, but okay. I don't know. I wouldn't pick that as being a movie that I would think would be a winner. What would you say would be a winner? I don't know because you mean this year? I don't Just period. Overall, what movie have you seen that you're like, wow? Because Fight to- Club. Fight Club is my favorite movie of all time ever. Fight I Club thought, is an incredible movie. See, I, well, I thought The Revenant was like that type of movie that it's like overall, everything just lined up. It was shot well. It was it, good. It, it was, it was the, up there. The yeah, 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 yeah. Revenant, great. I would definitely, I wouldn't Leonardo be mad. Leonardo DiCaprio is an amazing act. Like to me, it had all the 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 pieces of of a good, Malcolm X to me should have won. Malcolm X was a very, very good movie. Um, I've got to pick, I mean, there's, there's, I'm sure there's other things I just can't think of, but The Revenant was something that stood out. Malcolm X, something that stood out as a period piece. Um. I like Creed, honestly. I don't no. think it made. I mm, liked Creed. On. I thought Creed was good. I yeah, it was good, but Creed. Best Picture, no. It was very good, but Best Picture, no. I thought it was really good. It was better than every Rocky ever, but. It was, and I, and I just, I thought, I mean, Sylvester Stallone did a great, I thought it was great storytelling. So movies are not just like stand in the theater and applaud. It's not, you're not getting that kind of. <laughs> I don't know, so I, I wouldn't pick Get Out. If they win, I, hey, more power to them. Yeah, I, I don't. I think that. I think touching if it doesn't race, win, people will say he's snubbed. Like, touching on race, Lurk using you with, with the horror format, which I guess it was right. The, a satirical horror, horror is what we're going to call it, and then adding race to that element was definitely something different and right. fresh. So right. I give Jordan Peele credit for that. And if, if it wins, I think it's because of the fact that he did. He was able to tell to touch on race in a very creative way. If this way. wins, this is appeasement. I'm no. sorry, you know. If this movie wins, this is appeasement for all. This is this is like what are they, the white tears or whatever. This, I did want to ask you is, guys that. Do you think that because there's so many African Americans nominated this year, do you think that there's a feeling of ooh they you know because I'm that was not good press for the Oscars for the right. for so many people to boycott. Do you think there's a feeling of appeasement because I don't like reparations like that like I don't I mean not reparations but what is it affirmative action like I don't like right, when you right, right. give me something that is does not deserve Based it just because, just because you think that yeah. oh gosh let's shut the colors up right I don't like that I don't like it either well, you know what maybe we need to have because I don't know how the how the voting works I don't know how the voting works mm-hmm. for the Oscars so it's similar to the Grammys, Grammys yeah. it's similar it's same, to me, it's like basis. the same, yeah, the same thing. Except I think so, Roman Israel was a better movie than Get Out. No, I don't think so. I, I do. Seen it, so I couldn't. I, I don't do. think so. I think, I think Get Out was a, was it was a joke. I thought I felt like it was a, it was. I felt like even I felt like he was taking um the the he was taking the the political statement mm-hmm. and then making fun of it. He was, and that, it was. to me, that's hard to be. A best Take it picture. seriously. Yeah, like right. we 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 understand the, the racial undertones and the political undertones of the movie, and that's what made it special. Right. But that's not what makes it a best picture. That's all. That's all I was saying. Well, we'll this remains to be seen if if it wins uh, tonight. But I th- I guess for me, I wish I had seen it earlier because I saw all this all this praise, so the, hype. the hype, and so they were damn near praising as much as Black Panther, and then I saw it, and I was just like, this isn't that <laughs> Black good. Panther is the best. Get Out is better than Black Panther. I'm out. Nah. I'm out. Nah. Let's go. Okay, we're leaving. Subscribe. Oh, Thank wow. you. <laughs> we're leaving, be honest. Kevin no. and I are heading to Wakanda, and uh, you're out. You really, I don't know if you have a black card, but yeah. if you do, Kevin is confiscating it. Until I see fit. You guys are you guys are a fucking mess. <laughs> no, you're a fucking mess. Okay, no. we're all fucking messes. Dude. No, no, it's you. It's Get you. out is better than Wakanda. 
Are you kidding? Nothing is better than Black he, Panther. Oh he, he was half God. watching Black Panther anyway. I watched so. him. I was you know, just saying that as to much money as I, No, as much money as I spent, I watched every second. He's just no, saying you, that to incite you people, your anger. You, you took is, your family. He's he's testing the waters. Right. He's baiting right. us now. I, We're not I, I, I think our feedback in our comments will say that Get Out was a better movie. Get Out was a more important movie and it was a better movie. Just because a nigga was a superhero does not make it important. Stop it with Man, the nonsense. Like, share, They spent subscribe. way more money. Dude, like, <laughs> Like, share, like, subscribe. Share and subscribe. Do not allow the It's a honest. button in the bottom right corner. There. Click it. I implore you. Please, and then, and then, please don't let him in our comments get into your get into your psyche. It's okay. Right. In our comments, like, share, make sure you tell us what what number you think Crystal's freak is. <laughs> <laughs> it may be negative by the time this airs because it's been going down ever since we got on, on, on air. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in. Again, like, share, subscribe. See you later. Music Club Life.